from the right in the G-51. As the jet say... that war were by today's standards highly primitive. Those aeroplanes were fashioned from... And there goes gunfire from the ground, leading them, the Royal Aircraft Factory B2C, escorted by a pair of SE5As, but in amongst them have got two dry deckers, the German Fokker DR1. The BE2 and one dry decker breaking to the right. On the other side, we've got an SE5A pursued by the other dry decker and with the third SE5A in behind. As there, the third one pursues the CL1. B2C, which is the aircraft now trailing smoke off to the right as it runs in. BE stood for Blerio Experimental. It was designed by Geoffrey de Havilland and first built by the Royal Aircraft Factory in 1912. The airborne correction of artillery fire to make it more accurate. And the B-2A and B models were deployed early on to France in 1914. And it was in a B-2. Passing by there, the Fokker DR-1, the Drydecker, the triplane. First flown in July 1917. It was supremely agile in turns, but slower than its allied adversaries. Its most famous pilots included Manfred von Richthofen and Werner Foss. They suffered some serious structural problems, the DR-1s, especially wing failures. And that rather foreshortened its service life. Just 320 of them were built. One of the dry deckers now in front of us, chasing one of the three SE-5As. In November 1916, the improved SE-5A in 1917. It was used during the war by 21 British or Empire. Many of the leading aces Seas, but by a pair of F-15Es, also part of the 48th Fighter Wing at RAF Lakenheath. Remarkable performance of this aeroplane, always on display thanks to its manufacturer. Airbus Defence and Space uh, 4 turboprop for Europrop International TP400 D6 powered airlifter. Equally at home in the strategic or the tactical environments. And this of course is why it's so appealed to the Royal Air Force with whom it's now very much in service at Bryce Norton as the Atlas C1.
on the turns to uh, reposition this aircraft. It is really outside of the, the boundary of this uh, airfield here at RAF Fairford and really outside of a 200, uh, sorry, 2,000 feet radius from uh, crowd centre. every edge of the envelope of this uh, Rafale aircraft from plus 9 to minus 3G. A combat proven design of course now the Rafale since it was first involved in conflict in Afghanistan in French Navy hands during the 2000s. It was in Libya in what the French call Operation Armatin in 2011. The aircraft really earned its spurs though. Some remarkable missions flown in that theatre. Coming in from the right in the G-51 Mustang, Mr. Dan Freakin. To an officer that's performed the maximum, the maximum performance climb. Center, just under the speed of sound, nearly 700 miles an hour. Prepare for Freedom Thunder on the high speed pass. formation trailing patriotic red white and blue smoke red one pulls them up as they descend with red one about to twist the formation to the right red one is squadron leader martin pert martin is a former harrier and typhoon pilot he's previously served on the team and is in his first year as red one
Typhoon goes, says Red One, as the smokes of four, five, eight, and nine come on. The edges of Diamond sweeping back, ready to form the wings of the aircraft you've already seen display today. It's our current multi-role fighter aircraft based at Coningsby and Lossiemouth, currently on operations in the Middle East and defending the UK skies 24 hours a day, it's Typhoon. Get those cameras ready for the Typhoon roll. As the jet's apex at 3,000 feet, the Typhoon platform visible against the bright blue sky. On the right of Red 1 in Typhoon is Red 2, Flight Lieutenant John Bond. John is a former Takano pilot and instructor displaying the aircraft in 2012 and he joins the Red Arrows from the Typhoon Force. Lightning go, says Red One. The smoke comes on with four and five. The jet's moving forward, about to represent another aircraft you've seen already today. Arriving. As the jets approach their apex in the lightning loop, on the right-hand wing is Red Four, Flight Lieutenant Chris Lyndon-Smith. Chris is a former Tornado GR4 pilot and Hawk T1 instructor, and he joins the team on his second tour with the Red Arrows in his second year. Gentlemen, this is lightning. anniversary of the Dam Busters, here we see a three-ship formation of its aircraft past and present, Lancaster, Tornado GR4 and Lightning.
lightning in 75 years. The story of number 617 squadron, the Dambusters.